In this extra video, I'm going to photograph the beautiful Milky Way and be sure to watch the entire video as I'll offer you the best photography deal of the year. So I have come to an observatory we have here in Denmark called Borfelde. It's more or less in the middle part of Sealand, which is the island where Copenhagen is located. It is also one of the only, if not kind of the only observatory we have in the entire Denmark, at the very least, which is out in the middle of nowhere. So you can actually photograph the Milky Way, which is, of course, my mission for tonight. So I've come just here at sunset just to scout the place as I've never been here before. And I'm using Photopills, the Night AI AR version just to yeah, see if I can find some compositions. It should be fairly simple. What I'm imagining is simply just the Milky Way above one of these small observatories here in the background. Now that I don't have access to the VLT in Chile, I guess I will have to make do with <laughs> what Denmark can give me. But yeah, right now I'll just uh, enjoy the rest of the sunset, which is beautiful, and then just linger around until the Milky Way comes out, which will be in like two and a half hours. It is what it is up here in the north. So by now it's getting really dark and I start to see the first stars, but I want to talk a little bit about composition because there are like these trails here along with the observatories and I'm definitely going to use these trails some way as some kind of foreground in my composition. So obviously with this first one here, I'm going to use the trail right here leading up to the observatory. And then as far as I can see, the Milky Way is supposed to be standing up here behind this observatory. So that's definitely one shot that I'm going to aim for. Another example is this place here. Now I would like to have as many of the observatories within one shot as possible. There's just like a pile of rocks over here that annoys me a little bit. So I may have to go for a panorama to get all the observatories here in one shot and then again have the Milky Way up here behind me. But it is a lot when the Milky Way comes out that I will simply just have to see what works. I can also start to see that there will be some background lights that I hope are not too dominating in the photo. But uh, again, it's hard to do anything more than just like give it a try once you're out and then make sure that you problem solve all the time and then find new compositions again all the time. And right here is also a composition that I really like where I'm going to use this trail obviously here in the foreground and this observatory, the big one here also in the foreground. And then obviously your eye should look at that and then follow the trail into the observatory here in the background. And then again, the Milky Way should be there between these two observatories. It ought to work as far as I can see on photo pills, but uh, well, Nothing is given. I will just try to, yeah, try my best once the Milky Way is actually out. So it's now really dark and it's only like 15 minutes until it's official nighttime. That's when the sun is 18 degrees below the horizon and the Milky Way is as strong as it can get. Right now, I have found my first composition. It's with the three observatories here in the background. And I think I found a pretty decent balance between the two big observatories here on the right and then the small one here in the background on the left. And then I have the Milky Way right here in the middle. Settings-wise, I'm shooting with my 20 mm f1.8 from Sony. 10 second shutter speed as to not get any star trails and then with an ISO of 3200, 6400 it doesn't really matter because this camera here is ISO invariant so I can just change that afterwards without actually adding more noise other than what would have already been there 
if I had shot at a higher ISO. So that's fairly simple. The next thing I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a lot of photos and then I'm going to stack them afterwards so I can clean up all that noise that I'm shooting at 3200 or 6400 ISO. When I haven't stacked them, then in the end I should have a fairly decent and fairly clean photo. The only issue right now is that I have found out that there's actually a road here in the background. So I'm shooting basically towards the road and there's still a lot of cars driving. So I'm probably not going to be able to use all the exposures, but uh, yeah, let's see how big of a problem it's going to get. So I've come over to the other composition and as you can see here in the background it's observatory here and observatory over there and then I have the trail in the foreground. Now I've been shooting a little bit before with the 20mm f1.8. Right now I've decided to put on the 15mm f2 and I've decided to stop down to f2.8. So I have to go all the way up to ISO 6400. But then I can actually increase the shutter speed to like 13 seconds without getting star trails instead of 10 seconds. It's only like one third of a stop, but everything counts <laughs> when it comes to this. And right now, again, using the intervalometer, it's just shooting, shooting, shooting. I do feel that with 20 millimeter, the composition may have been a little bit too much crammed in there. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen the results yet. I'm going to probably process both of them. And then with the 15 millimeter, I, can, I could get a little bit more of the Milky Way. I could come a little bit closer to the trail because before I was just like crammed all the way up there against like a hedge. So with 15 millimeter, I can basically put more into the photo with the observatory here in the background and, and the other one. I'm also going to light paint the observatories and will probably blend that into my compositions too that you can probably also see that on the first composition. But yeah, the Milky Way is nice and bright right now. So all should be good, theoretically. So I'm now at the final composition and it is simply just like the big of the observatories and then we have the Milky Way like straight above it. Now I did initially plan to use the trail here in the foreground over here. However, because the Milky Way has moved, I'm simply just using another trail. So trail coming in from the lower corner leading in to the observatory and then up into the Milky Way. Fairly simple. I've changed back to the 20 millimeter f1.8, shooting at f1.8, 10 second timer, and I saw four, five thousand, something like that. And then I'm just like shooting a lot, stacking them. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm also going to light paint that one 
not entirely sure if I'm going to use it, but uh, yeah, let's see how it turns out. Absolutely gorgeous night right now. Absolutely beautiful. After having photographed the big observatory on its own, I decided to move a little bit back to include one of the smaller in the frame and I got this photo. Be sure to benefit from the 5 day deal offer while it lasts. Link is in the description of the video and if you are a little late there are links to all my other educational content down there. See you next time.